I'm Darren Walker. I'm Vice President of the Rockefeller Foundation in New York, and I'm delighted to uh, co-chair this afternoon session. Um, I've been looking forward to this because as a New Yorker, the opportunity to come to Mumbai is, um, is quite extraordinary for me because as a New Yorker, I feel a kinship with, with Mumbai. There is a, a kinetic energy about this city and what Jane Jacobs called the sort of messy organicness um, the order within the disorder that I feel very at home with here. And so even though I, I am from New York and have a, a sort of a, an American sensibility, um, I'm really here to learn from you. And I think all of us um, who come from uh, America see this as an opportunity to learn. And I'm just delighted to have uh, the opportunity to hear from people uh, I've known and respected um, for a number of years this afternoon. I do want to just say very briefly that this idea of globalization that many of us have embraced, I think today we've, we've really highlighted uh, some of the downsides, the sort of reductionist approach that globalization seems to always drive us to a value chain analysis and our trying to figure out where we are on the value chain. And there's something about that that actually is, is not good for a society. And when we talk about inequality, as, as Richard Sinnott does so eloquently, and I reflect on several references already today of, of the greatness and the wonder of New York's Central Park, I also have to reflect on the fact that what you could not see in any of the visuals was what has happened at the north end of Central Park, the Harlem end of Central Park that was populated for many, many years by poor African Americans who now are being displaced because Central Park has become such an important piece of real estate. And there are so many lessons for those of us who believe that public space has to be owned by all the citizenry of the experience of Central Park. And while, as a New Yorker, I'm immensely proud of that park and what it represents, I'm also immensely troubled by the current circumstance. So we're going to talk about housing this afternoon. And we all know that housing is really the platform for access and opportunity. And in, in Mumbai, um, there's a lot to learn about housing, both good and bad. And we're very lucky to have a group of panelists who are going to share uh, some, I think, important perspectives and learnings. Um, the, the process is we will have a two-part session. The first part is going to feature uh, a, set, a series of presentations. Um, first, uh, by S.S. Um, Shritriya, who is the uh, Principal Secretary of the Housing Department of the Government of Maharashtra. We'll then hear about Dharavi, which is um, a community I have been obsessed with since my days of working in Harlem and meeting uh, the amazing Jakin Apritham, who I had the pleasure of befriending a number of years ago and who has been a learning partner for me, and Jokin and Sheila Patel have been two people I have relied on uh, for intelligence and information, and I'm so looking forward to this presentation. We'll also hear from Mukesh Mehta, who is the chairman of MM Project Consultants. And finally, we'll have an opportunity to have some reflections by a distinguished panel of international urbanists. And at the top of that list, of course, is Enrique Penalosa, the amazing former mayor of uh, Bogota, Colombia, Jose Castillo, who is a professor, and I know you're in Mexico, but we'd like to, at the University of Pennsylvania, also claim you too, Jose. And finally, Matias Antonovi, who is a researcher at the University of Tokyo. But before we uh, begin our presentations, I wanted to turn it over to uh, my co-chair, Nasa Manje, from the Development Credit Bank, for a few remarks. <clears throat>